Welcome back guys to another exciting episode of Fishing in the Middle of Sweden. This is the series where I, Johan Rue, is your program host. I get to bring fun guests on the show and I will take you fishing in the landscapes around the middle of Sweden. It's a good fish. It's a good fish. Yeah. Good for the camera, good for the show. Yeah. And um, Cecilia's jig is sitting right on top of it. Oh, it's, oh, it's going for it. Oh, there you go. First ah! fish of the day, well done! <laughs> yes! <laughs> we are entering the high summer and uh, the holidays time in Sweden. And I'm actually on holiday. And um, I've been invited to go fishing together with Cecilia Grönberg. Welcome to the show, Cici. Thank you. Cici is a good friend, member of CVC fishing team. And she is guaranteed one of the best pelagical sharpshooter in the world for Sander right now. So this is going to be super exciting. We're going to stalk a new, stalk a new water and we're going to do some serious sander fishing and fishing in the middle of Sweden. Ready to launch the boat? Yes. Let's go. Let's more, go. Talk, more talking out on the water. I'm so ready for this. Me too. So you never fished this water? No. But you heard of it? Yeah, I've yeah. heard of it. I have a friend who's been here a couple of times. Yeah. So. But it, it's more or less just a normal lake in the middle of Sweden, right? Yeah. There are many lakes like this. Yeah, it, it's a very small lake. It's a small uh, lake. It's very deep for being that small. Yes. It's very deep. I think it's uh, almost And, and depth meters. is good for big fish. Yeah. There are very big pikes here too, so we might. Really? Yeah, yeah. They they've caught over 15 kilos here. No way. Yeah, so we we might get a big pike too. <laughs> what we will uh, do right now for an hour or two is uh, go around and check how the how this lake looks what, like. What the structure is on the bottom, yeah, the different. Uh, just top. yeah. Go. I, I will go in a rather fast. Uh, well, rather fast. Yeah, we're going eight knots r right no, now. No, no, no. Uh, normally, I go between three, four knots, but now I will be like five, six, just, oh, yeah. just to, to uh, well, see, just to go and look where are the fish, where, uh, how, how is the deep and everything, because so this is a new lake. Save time, cover a lot of water, yeah. find the fish. That's what uh, we're doing right now. Yeah, we will do that right now, and then when I have a. Uh, learned a little about the lake, Maybe then I will probably, hopefully, uh, have figured out where the fish are in okay. this lake. So right now we can't fish, we're only looking for Oh, fish. if I find a fish, I have a fish on Okay, okay, got it, got it. I got you, I got you. That will go pretty fast. To me it looks like there's fish everywhere in the sonar because you got dots everywhere, but you're yeah. looking for a specific, yeah. specific uh, echo. You want to find the fish. That looks good. It's all. It's all, uh, also moving. It's also moving. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And now we can see the fish right underneath oh, the boat. Almost. Got that we... yellow thick line there. Uh, it's that. It's that one that I am releasing on. This is. This the, one. Yeah. This is in the front. So. Okay. We don't have a. There we go. Yeah. Here we are, folks. Up here. Here is the fish, and. Um, Cecilia's jig is sitting right on top of it. And now we're waiting for a reaction. Now I have it. Yeah, it's going for it. You can see the fish is starting to climb. It's going for the jig. The jig is the little curve on top of the hard echo there. And uh, Cecilia is working with her left hand. She's holding the engine, the boat against the wind and with her right hand, she's trying to trigger the fish. This is how it's done. This is the real deal. It swam up a little bit and had a look at the yeah, jig, right? Yeah, yeah. I was up and checked, but it didn't seem interesting. So. No. Hmm. No problem with the engine so close to the fish. They don't no, care? No, no, they don't care. That's strange. Yeah, actually. 
if I was under the water and saw a propeller, I would, ah! Yeah. Now it's to the right, you see a very clear echo. Yes. Oh, I want to find this fish. Is it a big, do uh, you think it's a big fish? It's, it's not small or, and it's not uh, very big, but it's, it's, it's a good fish. It's a good fish. Yeah. Good for the camera, good for the show. Yeah. Now, come. Yeah, it's climbing. Oh, it's, oh. I was a little too aggressive uh, when I uh, yes. has, had done it the first time, so it was afraid. But then it got up again and then down. It's still there. In front of the boat yeah, now, I yeah. can see it on the yes. hummingbird. So I will release it and down, so I will there. Yes. A little bit later, we will go into the tackle and see what yeah. Cecilia is using. Oh, yeah. it's, oh, it's going for it. Yeah. Oh, eat it, there you go. I know you want to do your netting yourself, but... Yeah, you can, you can do it. I can do it? It's a better... <laughs> uh, it might be pike. Might be pike. <laughs> well, I'm not complaining. <laughs> but if it's a sander, it's a good fish. If it's a sander, it's a good fish. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. There you go. First ah. fish of the day. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> That's a beautiful fish to see there. Very beautiful. This has been 10 minutes of fishing. <laughs> yeah. Did you see the color? It was very uh, gold. Yeah. We have to pick it up. For sure. I'm going to let you work this. Yes. Yeah. That's a, that's a beautiful sander. Yeah. To anyone who doesn't do this on a daily basis like you do, this is a, this is a, it's a, it's a super yeah. fish. I love, I love this color. It was, it's, it's like gold. Yeah. It's gold. And they, they shoot their fins like that. They're so typical for sander. And I bet she's gonna, he's gonna give you a goodbye kiss when you release it. They always do that, the sander, the little splash with yeah, the tail Yeah, and I will give it a kiss too. Yeah. <laughs> what about the dog? Dog doesn't care. No, she doesn't care. She's seen one million sanders. I can be like, I <laughs> can be like, uh, I, when I get to 10 plus, I can, yeah. and she's like, <laughs> <laughs> well, well. <laughs> yeah, I see. Okay. Good stuff. Ready to release? Yes. <laughs> what? Well, oh, thank you. Then. Thank you. <laughs> Goodbye, kiss. Yeah, I got wet. That's his. I can look. Her look, look at the sauna. Yeah. That's the fish going down. That's the fish going right down. there. Yeah. Wow. Well, it gets difficult when it's uh, both when uh, the fishes are both swimming and it's uh, windy. Heavy heads, they're 80 grams. When do you use them? Uh, in the river. Yeah, when there's a current. Yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ah, I'm not going to go three times. Crazy. <laughs> oh, it is, no. It's a pike. It's a pike. Oh, man. It's a pike, pike, pike. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hate you. I hate you. Let me know if you need a hand. Yeah. I'm very good at handling yeah. pikes, as you see. You're welcome. <laughs> I don't like the small ones. They are, they no, are they're, so... They're dumb. Oh, there you go. Perfect. Perfect. Bye-bye. Look at it. Beautiful. Bye-bye-bye. Two species in the boat. Yeah. And it's time for lunch. Lunch. <laughs> Fishing in the middle of Sweden is targeting the county Helsingland. Depending on where you choose to fish in this area, you have approximately one and a half hour to three hours from Arlanda airport. So it's pretty close by. Due to the low populations in this area of Sweden, we have a very low fishing pressure. Many of the river systems in this area are connected to the Baltic Sea in one way or another. There are also many, many lakes to choose from and you could go on fishing for years without even having time to try them all. 
Nice to get out of the wind for a while. Cecilia? Yes? There's still one hamburger left. I think you should have it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm bottomless. I'm like yeah. a trash can. Yes, he is. Uh, before we go out again, Cecilia had uh, half a hamburger and then she said, the sun is out, we need to go fish now. Yeah. So we better listen. But, but before we go out, uh, we need to just quickly run through the equipment that you're using. Yes. And um, so start with the rod. This is a BFT vertical lizard. Yes, this is uh, new for this season, and uh, I love this one. It's uh, it has very good uh, action in it. Uh, uh, it's, bo it's both good for hooking the bigger sanders, but also very soft for the, the smaller ones. So uh, this is my favorite. And then you have your little lure. Yes. What's the model of the lure? This is called Slugo from Slugo. Uh, Lanker City. Yes. And uh, the color is smelt. Smelt. Yes. And uh, then you got it rigged with a, uh, a, a flex head. Flex head. Yes. Uh, uh, Fifty gram. <laughs> then we have the bait lock. Yes. And um, f roughly fifty centimeters of. Uh, yeah, yeah, fluorocarbon. Uh, yes. It's uh, zero forty. Zero forty. Yeah. Attached to the main line with a. I don't know the name of the knot. It's uh, like sharing knut gånger fyra. I can show you later. Yeah, we're going to have to look into that. Yeah. Did, uh, but it, is it a real knot or did you just make it up? You no, know? it's a real one. Okay, it's a real <laughs> one. one. Yeah. yeah. And uh, it's, uh, it never uh, breaks. Yeah, it's the queen knot. Yeah, we can call it the queen knot. We just named it. Yeah. That's how we do things at Canal Gratis. Yes. All right, and, and then you have extra hooks here. Yes. It's, it's a smaller one. one in the back. Yeah. And it's a little bigger one in the front. Yeah, it's the owner two and owner, no, owner four and owner two. Yes. Yes. And the so smaller one, I'm guessing now. Correct me if I'm wrong. Is it to keep the good swimming action? Yeah. Not weight it down too much. Yeah, exactly. Thing. Yes. And for the reel, what do you use for reel? I mean, you you don't do a lot of casting, but you need a reel with a good yes. break. Yes. This is a Pelagio. Uh, seven, 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 seventy-seven. Seven thousand seven hundred. Yeah, uh, DBS. This yes. is this is was also new for this year. All right. Uh, and this uh, the, the the thing that's new with this one is that uh, it when you release the the, the lure, yep. it, it has faster. It goes down faster. When it free lines, it goes faster yeah. without. Yeah. Yeah. It's yes. it's very fast down into the to the fish. You can drop fast and percent yeah. fast, and you really need that. I I learned that today yeah. when I've seen you working. It's like it's a fish. Boom. And yeah. then you're <laughs> 10 meters fish, and I'm like, where, where, where? <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Ex uh, especially when it's windy. Today it, had, it has been uh, windy. Oh. Then you have to be <laughs> fast. Yeah. Are you ready to go out and get him? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Let, let's do it. <laughs> Well, we, uh, <laughs> we're back. We're back. <laughs> so uh, we went out there and Sissy find, found fish immediately, but then it went. <laughs> and you know the rules, guys. When it's thunder, you don't stay out on the water. So uh, we're waiting th for the thunder and the rain to um, drive by, uh, pass us. Yes. And uh, uh, while doing that, we can do basically nothing. <laughs> yeah, we can just sit here and have a, well, it's nice. Yeah, but this place, like many other lakes uh, around this area in the middle of Sweden, have different, uh, what do you call it, um, vindskydd? Yeah. <laughs> I lost the word for it. Uh, we will flip the camera around for you so you will see what I mean. Some sort of shelter or structure or buildings are often not very far away when you're in areas like this. Yeah. 
Uh, we could go to McDonald's also, but I don't think we have the time because it's we actually... We already have hamburgers. Yeah, we have. <laughs> oh, yeah, we do. I still have that hamburger. All right, so uh, we'll be right back after this. All right, um, <clears throat> so we had a bit of a, uh, bad luck with the weather. Uh, we uh, stopped fishing and we pulled up the boat and we're actually changing water right now. So uh, we're going to a place called uh, Marmen. And uh, Cecilia haven't fished it before and uh, neither have I. Yeah, I fished it before, but not for Sander, not for pelagical sharpshooting for Sander. So we're going there. Cecilia just downloaded a deep chart uh, for her sonars, so we can locate the deep curves a little bit better. She's behind me right now pulling the boat, and I'm leading ahead as we're... In 500 meter. is uh, taking the next exit to the lake. So it'll be a lot of fun. <laughs> Alright guys, so we're on the lake and uh, Cecilia is now starting to um, work her way through the water masses and trying to locate fish and get a feeling for the surrounding. Uh, and I already have a great feeling, Cici got too. I mean, when we, yeah. when we arrived here we were like, oh, much better uh, weather here. Uh, uh, this bay have more protection from the mountains surrounding it from the northwest wind that we got going today. So. And it's warmer here, we're not freezing here. It's yeah, like, it's... it's strange, but you just move, you drive with your car for 15 minutes, you get a totally different yeah. scenario. So, um, strange. <laughs> let's see if they're biting here. I hope they will strike hard. Fan, det har varit fint, Eko. Ja, men han simmar efter jiggen. Han gjorde det? Ja, han håller fortfarande på att simma efter. Där satt han. Good, he's still following, still on. Pike. Might, yeah, yeah it's I a think pike. so. It's a good pike, you see. <laughs> <laughs> we found it. We found a deep hole in this new place, and Sissy um, found a big pike <laughs> immediately, and we had to drop on it. Um, good. I have the, the things for the hook. In. The hook Not out. The jig is gone, but you'll get your tackle back. Yeah. 